Well, I have to say that um, IMO has quite ambitious planning in terms of uh, zero net emissions up to 2050. And uh, we know that it's a 20-30% reduction up to 2030 and uh, up to 70% reduction up to 2040. And with joint efforts, we might achieve certain reduction. But again, we need to work very heavily on technological advancements. One of the innovative technology was presented uh, today by uh, Blue Ocean Maritime in terms of the installation of the filtering system uh, that helps to treat the fuel and also increases the combustion. Uh, as the end result and at the same time uh, it does help uh, to maintain uh, the uh, engine quite long time uh, in order to perform better. You are absolutely right, it's important to consider all the solutions uh, as in also working on alternative fuels such as methanol and hydrogen, uh, ammonia and the rest. But again, um, it's all under question mark when we are talking about the commercial shipping and uh, its usage in the commercial shipping, its availability, etc. Uh, etc. Et of course, it's way better and um, uh, way cleaner than the currently used fossil fuels. But I still think that we have quite a long path in order uh, to get to the um, uh, reduction of the emissions. So I find um, it's quite interactive and the industry um, uh, had uh, quite a lot of the actual practitioners that are uh, facing on a daily basis challenges uh, and have to be compliant uh, with the latest time or regulations as uh, one of them being ship managers and ship owners. We do need to uh, put the efforts in order to uh, be compliable with the um, um, latest regulations that were uh, put in place. Um, so I think it was quite informative and I think uh, that uh, we have found quite a lot of technical advancements and solutions in order to reduce the emissions.